All right, I'm here with Team 1885, one of the FTC teams. Where are you guys from? Haymarket, Virginia. Hey, Haymarket, Virginia, near, Namas near Manassas, Virginia. I kind of tripped all over that. So you're an FTC team. What did you do to, have to qualify to make it here to the World Championships? Uh, well, we went to several competitions in Virginia. Uh, there are qualifiers in Virginia because there are so many teams. But uh, we won the Delaware competition, or the Delaware State competition. We were the winning finalists. Wow, very cool. Congratulations, guys. Now, what's been the most challenging thing that you've had to overcome with your robot? Um, probably coming together as a team and finding a way to accomplish all the challenges of the game, not just one or two of them, but accomplish every single one possible. That's cool, very cool. Now, give me a little bit of a description. What is the goal? What are you trying to do in the FTC competition? Uh, in this game, there's a lot of parts to it. You need to score in the outer goal and high goal, and then there's the low goal. There's an autonomous mode for the first 30 seconds where the robot drives itself. That can be the winning part of it, and we have a great programmer, so we do well in that. And then there's the final 30 seconds where you can score in the outer goal. All of it's important, and we tried to do everything we could. Wow, that's cool. It sounds really intense. Now, I have you guys have with you the napkin of physics is what it's called. So you guys were talking about your design and literally drew it on a napkin. That's not a figure of speech. So tell me about the napkin of physics. Okay, so uh, one day at lunch we were working on the shooter. We had gone through three or four different prototypes for it that had failed. So we eventually started to think about it and we were at lunch when we started to actually write down different things about it. And we grabbed a napkin and a sharpie and we started writing down why we think it should work and the physics related to it. So. It wound up being the answer for how to make the shooter work best for the to score in both the high goal and the off-field goal. And that's pretty much all we did on the napkin, but then the shooter design advanced even more after we found we had more space. Well, that's awesome. So they actually did it on the back of a napkin, not a figure of speech. Team 1885 from Haymaking, Virginia, innovating along the way. Congratulations, guys, and good luck this weekend.